Billy Brown's back, impressively tonight after last week. What went into the performance that you guys had? I think, you know, it all starts with our preparation. And uh, I think the juice on the sideline was there. Everyone was locked in and just did their job. We didn't try to do too much. And, uh, and everyone just having fun. And then, you know, we started fast, and that, that momentum continued throughout the game. And it, it's, it's awesome when you go out there, you prepare the right way, and you also you perform the right way. So that was, that was good. I about the rhythm y'all developed in the past game over the past few weeks, and the comfort y'all have with the rhythm and the stuff y'all did? Yeah, I mean, I'm really comfortable with the RPOs, you know, the handoffs, reading, the, reading my key ID. And Coach Peter does a great job at putting us in great situations to be successful. And, you know, that, that's what happens with a balanced offense. If you're able to run the ball, it opens up the pass game. If you're able to throw it on them, it opens up the run game. And, and you, you've been seeing that the last two weeks. Seven touchdown passes tonight. You've had five last week. Do I mean, you feel like you're just getting on a bit of a roll here personally in the passing game late season? Uh, I think we're just starting to get that chemistry down with these young receivers. And, in, and during practice, it's paying off on Saturday. And it, it, it's awesome to translate that on, onto Saturday and, and keep moving that ball. And like I said, it's just it, it's easier when, you, when you're able to run the ball. How as a leader have you been able to take on the adversity of uh, Just continue to be who I am. Uh, you know, with adversity, it, it, it's not asking more of me. It's not asking me to be different. It's not asking me to do uh, extra stuff. I just stay who I am and, and show guys that, you know, it hasn't went our way, but that, that isn't, that's not going to stop my work ethic. That's not going to stop me performing. Uh, I'm going to continue to just be hard and continue to do what we've been doing, and especially on the sideline. Uh, I've been more juiced than ever. I've been, you know, I've been – very energetic, just because I know, you know, my time running out here, it's coming to an end, so I'm soaking in every minute. Mason, you surpassed 12,000 passing yards today. You have 91 career touchdowns. I know you were confident and knew that you could perform at this level. Did you envision you would perform at that level? You know, I really didn't think too far into the future. All I knew is each day waking up to go out there with a the chip on my shoulder and, and, and practice. Uh, like I know how to practice and, and perform. I've been blessed to have great coaches and great teammates along the way. That's made that, that, that my job a lot easier, uh, especially you know the past four years. I've had a great offensive line, great receivers, great running backs who've made all that possible. And, and coaches that put me in great situations. And you know they're going to put me in great situations. I just got to execute. And that comes with preparing the right way and, and practicing uh, 100%. And I've made sure I don't, I don't miss a day preparing and executing in practice. Jalen's been on a tear lately since he's had another big day today. What's gone into that, in the way he's played at the end of the season, the way you guys have been able to develop? Uh, Darden's a special player. Um, you know, as soon as he stepped on campus, he's going to be a special player. He's one of the one of the hardest workers I know, and he can catch anything you throw in the vicinity. And he can, his route running is, is amazing. It's been one of the best I've ever seen. And our chemistry is just, it's been there, it's been there from the start. And, you know, I, I'm just proud for him the way he's been playing. It, it, it's something special. And, and there's not there's not many like him. Jalen, how much comfort has this offense kind of grown into, and especially in the year um, I feel like we're very confident right now where we are uh, with the passing game. Mason is doing a great job. Coach Latrell and Coach Bodie Reader, they're doing a great job of helping us get being able to make plays and do what's best for the team. Jalen, you already skipped on the defensive line with the four sacks today. Just kind of what. I think we were a lot more motivated today because, I mean, to lose how we lost last week just kind of puts, it, puts that chip on your shoulder. And we knew we could have affected that game a little bit more. So the coaches have been challenging us to be a little bit more dominant, try to do a little bit more extra to affect that quarterback. And I think we did. What was the overall performance defensively the day after last week? Just just taking the coaching and um, just going out there and executing. I mean, we got some of the same looks that we got last week, but we just weren't executing. And I think this week we did. We got highly motivated coming into this after last week. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. I mean, like I said, like to lose how we did last week just puts that chip on your shoulder and just makes you want to uh, prove something to the world and just go out there and play hard. Mason, you Do you get a chance to appreciate these things, or when you're in the middle of the season, I mean, what does that mean? Um, 
I've said it before, I'm not much of a stat guy during the season. It's all about winning. But you know, now that you mention it, I mean, Drew Brees is a guy I've watched for years and this guy I've looked up to. And that's, that's special to be able to have that accomplishment. But like I said before, I, I wouldn't accomplish any of that without the great teammates and great coaches I've had. So, you know, it's awesome, but I'm moving on to next week. I'm already focused on La Tech. That was an aggressive going downfield, and we've seen some pure screening. Is that more of a conscious effort or more game planning? What do you say? <laughs> I didn't hear him. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Y'all have been attacking downfield a lot more than screening. Is that a conscious effort, or is that more about game planning? Uh, that's game planning. Um, it's just, you know, if the safeties are in the run game, that's the beauty about the RPOs and being balanced. And if the safeties are going to be in the run game, we're going to throw it over the top. And they've been pressing our outside receivers, and our outside receivers have made plays over and over again, especially, you know, like Deontay Simpson and Jair Shorter. I mean, those guys, they're growing up fast. And I, it's exciting to watch those guys grow. And, you know, that, the defense is going to have to choose to stop the run or stop the pass. Jalen, do you get a chance to appreciate watching your teammate do these things? I mean, again, those are some big names on that list. Do you get kind of appreciated for him? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I, I'm proud of him. He's a great dude, great leader, great teammate. Uh, I see him come to work every day, do what he's supposed to do. He's coachable. So that, that just makes me want to go harder and, and help him the best way I can and the team, exactly. What does he mean to this person? He's that dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Mason Fine is a great quarterback, great teammate, great leader. Like I said, I can keep going on and on, but he does what he's supposed to do, and that's what you expect out of him, expect greatness. So that's what he does. Does it say something about him that, you know, it's almost expected that he's accomplishing what he's accomplished? You know? I, I, I feel like it's, it's expected because he expects it out of himself. He works hard, so the results are going to happen because of what he's putting on, on and off the field, what he's doing behind the scenes, what people don't get to see. So, yeah. Where are y'all with the T-Rex outfit? Huh? Where are y'all with the I'm not a Halloween type of guy, so. Hollywood is good. I'm just happy to get to celebrate Halloween and celebrate the win, so. All right, thank you, guys. So.